Hey guys, Jack Scalfani here, and it's time to do something crazy. We're doing cricket onion rings. That's right. I have no idea what made me want to do this. Um, a company that makes cricket flour sent it to me and said, hey, crickets have protein and iron, and it's a healthier flour than the regular white flour. I'm like, sure, send it on over. So I'm trying to make it. I have a feeling that it's not going to turn out well, not because product's bad, but because, you know, I'm just a regular Joe. So be ready for that. You might get a good laugh out of this video. We'll see how this thing goes. Uh, I just want to thank audible.com for being a sponsor of the show. You guys uh, know I've been reading audible books like all year long, right? And you know they have 180,000 books to choose from. And it's not really books. They read the book to you. So it's audio. Uh, it's like books on tape, but it's right on your phone. It's on your iPad, wherever you want it, in the car. I use it in the car all the time. So I'm flipping through, right? I open the app and it says... Candace Cameron Bure, all right, Dancing Through Life. And I'm like, that's a girly book. I didn't buy that. So I get on the phone, I find out my wife has completely hijacked. She's buying all these books now on Audible. And I'm like, seriously? Could you have given me some warning? So if you guys want to read, like, if ladies out there, or even guys out there if you want, uh, Candace Cameron, Dancing Through Life, my wife is currently reading it. She says she loves it. Uh, she's learning a lot about eating better and just just life, life in a woman's body, I guess. <laughs> anyway, use my coupon code. Get a free trial. Get a free audiobook. Read along with her, okay? Use that code and let me know what you think. There's a link down below. All right, so let's get started with the cricket onion rings. Come on in close, and I'm going to show you all the ingredients. So this is the packet of cricket flour right here, and the company even makes this. Cricket fuel, it's cricket protein. You can pour it in your drinks. If you wanted to, you can get them in these packets. Uh, I have yet to try that. I'll try that another day. So we'll put that off to the side. Look at that onion, is that huge or what? It's like a softball. All right, so you got onion, buttermilk, and this is low fat buttermilk, not regular buttermilk. Cayenne pepper, onion powder or granulated onion. I'm using granulated onion. Uh, I'm using two eggs. It only asks for one, but I'm going to use two. And I'm going to do like a double batch so I can dip more later if I want to. But the recipe asks for one. So you'll see it down below. Panko breadcrumbs. And that's about it. Okay, surprise number one. Crickets, cricket flour is not white. <laughs> well, I don't know why I would think it'd be white. It's kind of brown. Kind of smells chocolatey. Anyway. So I'm using my little processor here. You can use any kind of food processor you want. Okay, so in here you're gonna put in your breadcrumbs. You're gonna put in your cayenne, your onion, granulated onion or onion salt or onion powder or whatever you want. And I'm gonna put some black pepper in here too. It'll be down the directions below. Get our little wand power, whatever you call it. Do, 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 do. Just a little bit breaks down the breadcrumbs, makes it a little bit finer. I want to make sure it's all broken down. There we go. Mmm, so I just eat that like that. Yum. All right, here we go. How you guys doing in there? You doing good? Awesome. The next one we're gonna we're gonna put our buttermilk in here. Low fat buttermilk. Got to make sure I keep saying that so you guys understand we're trying to, trying to make it better. All right, crack our egg. Then in here, we're going to put in our breadcrumb mixture. I want the biggest rings I can get. So what I'm going to do is going to make me some room so I'm careful with my knife just for a sec. I'm just going to cut it right down the middle. Okay, I'm gonna cut some more. There we go. I want this big section here. I want this section here. I wanna get the biggest rings I can get. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put it in the cricket flour. 
put it in here, dunk it in there, dunk it in there, and place it right there. See that? That's how you're gonna do all of them. So go through all the bowls, do all your rings like that. Okay, so the thing I like about this recipe is they're super lightly coated, but I did notice like the batter's not staying on the last one I did. So as the panko breadcrumbs get wet, you might wanna freshen that up with another dry batch to finish off your onion rings. So these look great, these look okay. That one don't look so good, but I'm baking them just like this. So I'm popping them in the oven right now for about 18 minutes till you see them getting kind of crispy and, and you know golden brownish, and then we'll pull them out and we'll take a look. All right, so they didn't quite coat like I wanted them to, as you can see, but I'm gonna try them anyway, and then I'm gonna think I'm gonna alter the recipe. As you can see, somewhere it's starting to get burnt and dark, and I didn't want it to burn all the way, so. But I'm gonna try them anyway. This one looks the best, so I'm gonna eat this one right here. And are you ready? Are you sure? It smells okay. I don't mind putting cricket guts in my mouth. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, we're moving around. Take mine to me. Spicy because of the cayenne pepper. They smell good. They smell. They smell better than the other ones, uh, but the cricket flour didn't taste bad at all. I just think that this recipe is a little funky. Tell me, how do you batter your onion rings? And have you ever baked them? Those are the two things I'm trying to learn right now. You guys can help me out. I'll do a redo on this video. All right. See you in the next episode. Bye bye. Hmm.